Tis the season for Share Your Christmas and helping to feed our hungry neighbors. But did you know that's even more important than ever before? Did you know there's a connection between heart disease and food insecurity? I spoke with Dr. Ramal Ramji from CHI Memorial. Dr. Ramji, thank you so much for joining me today. Let's start by talking about this is the time of year we're holding Share Your Christmas. You have food drives. People are thinking, I want to help out and feed my hungry neighbor. And they just think that they just need food. But one of the things, too, that's so important about this is that there is actually a connection between food insecurity and heart disease. Talk a little bit about that. Absolutely. It's a uh, understated topic that I think deserves a lot more attention. Um, food insecurity is a broad term that refers to access in general uh, to healthy foods. And um, there are many factors that go into that, but um, you know, uh, including economic factors uh, indiv at the individual level and also community level factors like what grocery stores are or are not in the immediate vicinity. And so um, certainly not having immediate access to healthful foods uh, is very much uh, directly correlated with cardiovascular disease and, um, and mortality in this particular study. One of the things in looking at that is that it's still really unbelievable when you think about it. How many people live in a food desert? And I've, we've been covering this over the years and how there are communities, there's no grocery store in their community. They have convenience stores with canned goods, different things like that, but not where you can get fresh fruits and vegetables. Now, Thankfully, a lot of communities have taken it up on themselves to try to plant community gardens and do things like this to help people in their community. But this is so important because, again, like you said, it also goes back to that access as well. Right. Yeah, no, the food deserts are a, a big problem. And it, it, is a, it is an issue in terms of food choices, even in areas that are not food deserts. I think at a global level, uh, the food industry tends to market processed, highly processed nutrients, um, sort of um, sparse uh, energy dense foods that don't have a lot to them. And so, uh, you know, uh, food deserts just exaggerate that problem where people in the local community are really dependent upon um, processed foods that are either canned or boxed um, and do not have uh, fresh produce and um, and healthful foods that are really going to be uh, good for their overall well-being. So it is a, a large problem. It contributes vastly to the food choices we make, and um, it does have many uh, strong health implications that directly drive a, a lot of facets of disease, including cardiovascular problems. Um, and it's something that unfortunately is not uh, spoken about enough. Well, this is a really important topic, and especially now, it's good to highlight it because it's on people's minds at this time of the year when they're donating food and to food drives and different events like Share Your Christmas and others. So let me kind of wrap up by saying, if you're saying, you know, I want to help out in these events, I want to give food, what are some of the, people need something that will last as well. What are some of the best items that you can donate to help out when it comes to food drives? It's a good question. I mean, you certainly want to prioritize um, non-perishables and within that category, trying to just be cognizant of what you're providing. Uh, you know, one rule of thumb I like to follow is if, if you don't recognize something uh, as food in its natural state, then it probably was processed a considerable amount. And so many boxed goods uh, things with powder in them or, or, or other pre-made sauces and so forth are hiding a lot of these chemicals. So trying to buy simple things that look like uh, it was grown in a garden or, or in, in, in a farm somewhere that's recognizable in its most natural form. You know, these can be things like beans. Um, these can be um, other products uh, like lentils and so forth that really last quite a long time. Don't really have anything added or modified as far as um, what the product is and have a lot of nutrient density to them. Dr. Ramji, thank you very much for your time. Some great advice. 
very timely during this time of the year. Thank you so much. Thank you.